I want to share with you uh, an important clinical moment that I had with a client who sometimes has behavior outbursts when he feels left out, when he feels out of control, when he feels somehow that someone is betraying him or that he just doesn't feel like he's a part of something and he can get what could be experienced by other people as bullying behavior where he kind of gets big in his chest and he kind of gets menacing and he gets demanding. And when I was talking to him in a, a session, we identified that younger part of him is the part that sometimes feels left out and misunderstood and he just wants to be included. And so in order to compensate for that, he gets a feeling of getting bigger and wanting to dominate in order to make um, the other people act in a way that is more friendly towards him or that'll include him. And the younger part was at first, he saw it as something that is um, a strong part, but actually we identified that it was more of a scared part, a part that was feeling left out and that maybe people didn't like him. And so what I talked to him about, and we talked together, is that we are all made up of different parts. We have lots and lots of different parts of ourselves, and we can take the position of a lot of different parts and let them, let them speak and explore their perspective. And so in this session, I asked, would it be okay if I might take the part of that younger, scared part of him and that he, from his more true and, and his more wise self, could speak to that part of the younger of the younger child who was frightened. Um, and in the role play, I just embodied a child who was feeling frightened and feeling um, kind of small and somewhat helpless, and saying, "Sometimes I don't know how to behave, and I get scared, and that's why I act big." And the boy was able to respond to that and say, I know, and I can help you through that. Together we can get through it and we can ask our mom for help and I can understand you. And I said, really? Because sometimes I worry that nobody can understand me because I don't have any words. I just feel so, mis so mixed up inside and so upset inside. And that's why I have these big, strong feelings that are kind of scary. And the boy was able to respond and talk to his younger self. And I said, now that you are able to talk to your younger self who's a little scared, why don't you invite him to come to you and you can hold him. And I had him to fold his arms like this and together um, we, we um, held ourselves like this. And then I had the mom who was sitting next to him put her arms around him. And to be able to say that both the scared part and your bigger, wiser part can be together and can hold each other in the moms of in the arms of your mom. And that was a moment that I think he can use. Really, we can use in therapy um, for for all of our subsequent sessions. That there's parts to us, and some parts are scared, and they act. Sometimes they can act big or act mean. And I like to be able to tell parents that you should talk about your different parts at home too. Being of two minds, being having conflicting feelings is so much a part of the human condition.